We'll stand behind you. Uh, my name is Blake Myers. I'm going to Johns Hopkins University, and I'm going to be playing shortstop in second base. Um, my coach sent my video to Johns Hopkins, and the coach ended up showing interest in me, and I ended up finding a major at Johns Hopkins Neuroscience, which interested me a lot, and then it kind of just yeah. fell in right through there. It's kind of a school that's uh, academically prestigious, mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. So was it difficult getting in? Um, I think so, yeah. It, I was I was actually worried during the process of getting in, and I think the coach the coach had a little leeway with helping me, and then I mean like my grades and everything helped me as well. But I feel like it was definitely a challenge to get in compared to the other schools I applied to. What other schools are you looking at? Uh, I applied to JMU and uh, Valparaiso University and King College. Okay. Yeah, did Hopkins say what kind of role you'll be taking on the team right off the bat? Or? Um, I mean the coach says like. It's not where there's any senior authority or anything where the senior seniors get to play any more than anybody else. So I can come in and work for a position right away. But he said, like, as freshman in college, you can't really expect to play that much. But he's hoping that all the people that he brings in can start doing jobs right away. Uh, your, your particular major you're picking out here is not one you normally see an athlete going for. How mm -hmm. difficult is it going to be balancing those two? Um, I'm not sure. I'm actually really interested to see how it's going to be. I, it took me so long to find a major I was interested in. I knew I wanted something with the medical field, and then I started falling into that. I knew I didn't want to do pre-med because I knew that would probably be too much with baseball. And then I found the neuroscience major, and that kind of stuck with me. Uh, Blake Spires you know, played second base last year, and I believe it was all region. Uh, we asked him to move the outfield this year to help the team, and he seamlessly moved out there. Is a fantastic outfield. I think Hopkins is wherever they play him is going to get a good one. Uh, and you know he didn't have the numbers that he had last year, but again he was one of those guys that was a leader on the team and really tried hard to uh, keep everybody moving in the right direction. Yes. <laughs> uh, I'm Lou Johnson, going to Shenandoah University and playing baseball. Okay, why Shenandoah? Um, it's a great environment. Uh, they're really good at baseball, and it's not too small, not too big. Yeah. What other schools were you looking at? Um, Macon, Virginia Wesleyan, and Shenandoah. Okay. Um, have they said what kind of role you're going to play on the team? Um, they want me to come in and play center field, and then maybe pitch a little bit, maybe a closer. Okay. Uh, have you thought at all about what you're going to major in while you're there? I'm going to major in the business. They have a really nice business school, so I'll do that. Okay. Yeah, Lou, you know, Lou had some adversity in the program. Uh, was one of the guys that really fought back and, and worked really hard to get back in the lineup and just did a fantastic job right up to his last at bat where he had a base hit and gave us an opportunity to uh, to win that game. Uh, and he was he was a positive the entire season, whether uh, you know he was in the center field uh, getting a hit, whatever it was, he just he was really a positive for us. Well, well, um, they had they expressed the most interest in me. From they started expressing interest like uh, one of my first games here, my senior year, and then I went down, took a visit, and really liked it. I liked the coaches. The campus is really nice, and it just seemed like a good fit for me. Okay. What are the schools were you looking at? Uh, I was looking at Christopher Newport and uh, Bridgewater. I probably they said I probably come in as a reliever. Freshman year, and just trying to work my way up. Have you thought at all about what you're going to major in? Uh, uh, majoring in accounting. Okay. Alan, you know, we told the story before. He was a, uh, a, a kid that came over from Benedictine and was not. We were this close to cutting him, uh, and his velocity was really down, and we didn't know where we were playing. He was a super good kid, and um, we ended up keeping him in the last cut. We ended up saying keep him with us, uh, and he's just completely did a reversal. He went, he went from throwing 72 miles an hour, he's topping out at 88, and I'm sure he's going to be a 90 mile an hour guy. Uh, and he threw huge innings uh, throughout the year. He started off a little slow and then ended up going to the bullpen. And uh, Derek and, and and Chris threw so well, he probably didn't get the innings that he that he thought he should have or deserved, for that matter. But uh, we had great confidence in him when he came into the game that it was going to be shut down because he can throw and he's got the long ones. Really, really lucky to get him.
following him. I'm Brian out there. I'm going to Christopher Newport University and I'm playing catcher. Okay. Uh, just felt like the right school. They were, uh, at the time, they were ranked number one in the nation, Division Three. so felt right. I was looking at Randolph Macon, uh, Mount Olive, and Hendon City. Uh, right now, I'm thinking finance, but it's not 100% sure. Um, have they said what your role will be on the team right off? You got to work your way into the starting lineup? Or? Uh, I mean, it's just you got to work to see to be in the starting lineup. But, uh, they're losing. They've got their, all their pitchers and shortstop back, but everyone else, all their stars are, are gone. So it's pretty open. Brian Lowry, uh, Brian Ken was a guy that started as a sophomore, had a little adversity, and he came out this year uh, as a senior. He was starting at first base, ended up moving to catcher because of an injury to Keith Searles, and just was phenomenal defensively. I mean, he was lights out, got all first team district, and carried our team offensively three quarters of the season. And his numbers at the end were not as good as they were all year. He just kind of had it, not a rough finish, but just wasn't hitting as good as he was. He was carrying us for at least half the season. He, uh, he was our hottest hitter and our most clutch, had the most RBIs and big hits too. So yeah, seeing you can use him on the mound, they can behind the play, first base, left handed hitter, he's gonna be a good one. I'm Chris Childress, I'm going to Randolph Macon College and I'll be playing pitcher, first base and outfield. Um Randolph Macon just as soon as I went to their campus for my visit, I just I fell in love and just everything about the school, the coaches, the faculty, the team, the field obviously, the brand new field, it's beautiful, so it's, it's going to be a fun place to go. I was looking at some Division One schools for a while and then it didn't pan out with some academic situations and then randolph Macon came and they said that they could work with me, go to summer school and they could get me in as long as I passed summer school and for the Division Three level, Randolph Macon was it. That's where I wanted to go. They said if I work hard and just do everything they ask and take the uh, lifting program seriously and just do everything that I could, I could be a contributor as long as I do all that. Um, I want to major in communications and a minor in education. Uh, Chris Childress is um, a four-year guy for us and has been with us forever. And he's one, you know, he was the heart and soul of of our team. I thought he just did a great job on the mound and of course hitting in the, the four hole. I think he led our team uh, in hits and RBIs in a lot of different categories. Uh, he was second team or honorable mention all state and you couldn't ask anything more from him. And I think he landed in the right spot. Make it's going to be a good spot for him. Uh, you know, he's a Division One player, but you know, I think they're real lucky getting him. Yeah, you know, we we talked earlier uh, in the season to this group of seniors about kind of uh, getting a hold back on what we find important in the values of what our program is. And across the board, every one of them did a fantastic job, not just of playing, but really setting the attitude and, you know, what we expect for the younger guys. And, uh, you know, they, they achieved, that was their goal. They said that they were going to make that happen this year. And we didn't go as far as they wanted to or the coaching staff wanted to. But uh, as far as everything else goes, they really achieved it.